This video shows you how you can clear all of your caches in your apps on your Fire TV stick and cube with one simple command. No apps to purchase, absolutely free of charge. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So, OK, this shows you how to clear all your caches with one simple command in ADB Shell. So first of all, why would you want to do this? Well, over time, each app that you've got installed on your Fire Stick or Cube does accumulate rubbish temporary files that sit there in the cache. It's supposed to be there to make the app load up a bit faster, but Overall, in time, it slows your system down. So it's a good idea to clean these. Now, in the past, you, what you had to do was you had to go across to settings over there and then down to applications and then down to manage installed applications and go through each of the apps in this list and clear the cache. Simple enough to do. You just press the rewind button and that clears the cache. Then you go on to the next rewind button, go on to the next rewind button, and you might have quite a few apps on there, so it can be quite time consuming. So as I say, this guide is gonna show you how you can do it with a push of a couple of buttons, clean out all the caches, clean out all the caches from all the apps without having to purchase an app to download. Now, I know others have created these kind of apps, but from what I've seen so far, you have to pay for them. And if you're tight like me, then this is ideal. So first of all, what we need to do is if we haven't got it installed already, we need to install Downloader. So go to the magnifying glass on the home screen, go down middle button and just start to type Downloader. As you're typing it, it should appear below the on-screen keyboard. Highlight it, middle button, and then middle button again, and then middle button again, and hopefully, it should download and install. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It just depends on the speed of your internet connection and the speed, of course, of your Fire Stick or Cube. Once you see open, middle button on the remote control, and then it should open. Now this is very important. When it comes up, allow downloader to access photos, media, and files on your device. You must ensure that you have allow selected. If you have deny selected, then downloader ain't gonna work. Make sure allows highlighted, middle button. Then middle button again to get rid of the quick start guide. Just gonna press the home button on the remote control to make sure that you're back to the home screen and then go across all the way to the right to the settings cog. Once that's highlighted, then go down to My Fire TV, then press the middle button on the remote and then you're looking for developer options. Now, if like mine, you don't see it, then all you need to do is go into about and then find the name of your device and highlight it like mine. Mine says Fire TV Stick 4K. Yours may say something different. Just press the middle button on the remote control until you see no need you're already a developer come up at the bottom of the screen then stop pushing the middle button then press the back button on the remote and there you should see developer options just below about go down to developer options middle button and then go down to apps from unknown sources if it's set to off like mine is middle button on the remote control middle button again and then it goes to on if you've got install unknown apps instead of apps from unknown sources, then all you need to do is highlight install unknown apps, middle button on the remote control, go down to downloader, and if it's switched off like mine, middle button, and that turns it on. Then keep pressing the back button until you get back to the main menu. And the next thing we need to do is to download and install ADB Shell. So let's just go into downloader that we've just downloaded and then press the up button once, middle button, and then type 21203, that's 21203. Then press the play pause button, and then when this page loads, we just scroll down, and we're looking for ADB shell, and there it is, remote ADB shell. Move your circle over the icon, middle button, and then if you see a screen similar to this, 
then keep pressing the down part of the ring on the remote, then go across to install middle button. Once you see app installed, press done. And then once you see this screen here, go across to delete middle button, go across to the second delete middle button, and then keep tapping the left hand side of the ring on the remote until home's highlighted middle button, back button twice. Then press and hold the home button on the remote until this menu appears. Let go, go across to apps, middle button, and then scroll down and right at the bottom should be ADB shell. Press that, it says here, new key pair generated. Press the middle button on the remote. Press the middle button again, type local host on the on-screen keyboard, all one word in lowercase. Then press the play pause button. Make sure that you've got 5555. Press the play pause button. Then press the middle button on the remote. Now, if it says allow USB debugging, then make sure you put a tick just to the left of always allow from this computer. So press the middle button to do that, then go down, highlight OK, middle button. Then you should see this ADB shell. Once you see that middle button, the on-screen keyboard comes up. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to check to see how much I've used on here. So let's just go to the settings cog go to applications, go down to manage installed applications. And there you go, I've used quite a bit. I've only got 852 megabytes free out of 5.33 gigabytes. So I'm just gonna go back to the ADB shell and I'm gonna press the middle button on the remote just to get the keyboard back up. So we need to type PM, that's P for Papa, M for Mother, space, trim, hyphen, caches, space, 32, capital G, no space between the 32 and capital G, just as it's shown on the screen right now. Pause this video if you need to write this down. Once you've done that, press the play pause button on the remote to run the command. Then press the back button on the remote once, and hopefully if the command has run correctly, you should have a prompt appear below PM trim hyphen caches space 32 capital G. So let's just come out of this. I'm just going to press the home button on the remote, go across to the settings cog, go down to applications, go down to manage installed applications. And as you can see here, I've got 1.27 gigabytes now free of 533. So I've saved roughly around about 500 megabytes just by typing in a few commands. And what you can do is you can keep remote ADB shell installed on here if you want to, and just go in there once in a while and just type in that command and that will clear all the caches in your Fire TV stick and Fire TV cube. I hope you liked this video and if you did, why not help support this channel? Have a look in the link down below. If you're in the market for a new VPN, a new Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, we've got links to, to details of the best VPNs, the best Fire Sticks or Cubes and the best accessories. And buying through those links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to recording great videos for you. And also, while you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? Have a look. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.